everyone, Nigel Saunders here. It is a blustery day here, getting towards the end of May, and I've started putting my tropical trees outside. The risk of frost generally disappears towards the end of May, but it is still possible to get frost right up till mid-June. So I always keep an eye on the weather reports to see what the nighttime low goes down to. And if it gets down to like one, two, three, four degrees, I'll bring the tropical plants back inside. Today I'll be working on my elephant diorama. I'll be pruning the trees, cleaning up the landscape, and doing a general spring cleaning here in the bonsai zone. This is the planting I'll be working on today. My elephant diorama is just in a plastic sea tray pot, but I do have this nice frame that it slips into. So here I go. Just like that. The seed tray was made by a viewer, Angel, from Florida, and it looks really good with the elephants. The trees in this planting are Thuja occidentalis, a native tree to this area. I'm styling the Thuja, or eastern white cedar trees, to look like the flat top African acacias. These trees are some of the oldest ones I have in my collection. I planted this tree in the pot here four years ago. And I've been working on the structure of the tree ever since, trying to get that kind of acacia style up top in the canopy. And it's slowly getting there. It's, uh, you know, I'm getting those branches fanning out and it looks a little better every year. Here's a view of the branches from above and I'm working on getting them fanning out from the center trunk, spreading outwards like an acacia tree. I'll start today by working on the trees and then I'll finish up by working on the landscape. I'm going to start by pruning off all this shaggy type growth up top here. I want to make it a nice shallow kind of a umbrella style canopy to it. So yeah, every year I get some new branches so it allows me to work on the canopy more. So let's begin. I'm just looking at every branch and getting it to fan out like this, pruning off all the upward growth and trying to get it more horizontal. It'll be a slow process over many years. I'm pruning off any branches that are crossing over top of each other. I'm also removing any branches that are going in towards the center of the tree. I want them all fanning outwards. I have to be careful to leave enough foliage up here so I don't get a bald spot in the center of the tree. So I've got to leave little fine branches all over the middle. Just got to take one branch at a time and just slowly work away. There's a lot of branches all jumbled up here that I'm sorting out so they all have their own spot of sunlight. I'm also removing any of the really vigorous tips, just pruning the vigorous part back, taking the tip off it, and I'll get some further subdivision on those branches. I'm always pruning back to healthy foliage. I don't want to prune back to weak growth, otherwise the branch could die off. You just have to keep at this type of pruning, and over the years, you slowly correct all the faults on your trees. I'm gonna take that back here, actually. I'm also keeping track of the overall profile of the canopy when viewed from the front. I'm cleaning out some of the sections, thinning them out so they get a little more air circulation so the foliage doesn't get too dense. It's always nice when you can prune an older branch off and replace it with a better positioned newer branch that's grown in. There's a thick branch here I can remove. It, uh, it's an older branch and it's kind of sticking up, but down below there's some even better branches. 
that'll get rid of some of these upright branches and slowly correct you know this winding structure of the tree into something a little more organized all right here's that upright branch that I'll take off and I'll, I'll just prune it back roughly at first like that so here I go and then I can get in and clean up the cut nice and flush like that and now these branches that are down below here can be developed because they're fanning out more from the center of the tree I could probably even take this one off it's kind of growing back in towards the center of the tree so I'll take that one off also there so that's really helped to clean up that branch structure now there's another one here that's kind of growing in towards the center so I'll take part of that one off maybe to there so that's about all I can do to this branch to clean up the structure for now as more branches grow in future I can further develop it and refine it I'll keep working refining all the branches and then we'll come back and have a look at the structure of the canopy here's a look at the branch structure of the main tree now so I did a lot of good cleanup work today I've left a lot of foliage in the inside of the tree to kind of develop the rounded canopy eventually again you can only do so much each year but it's slowly getting there it was a very twisty tree at first and I'm slowly getting the branches to you know a bit more organized structure in it fanning out from the center trunk so yeah I'm happy with the progress of the tree I'm keeping all the character I can in the branches but just refining the overall structure to get that nice canopy so the next trees I've got to work on are these two smaller trees that are tucked in behind the main tree here's a look at the main tree from the front view now so hopefully you can see kind of the canopy shape it's not quite dome shaped yet but hopefully someday it'll get there I really like the style of these two back trees here the trunk lines really match the main tree really well um, they look to be about the same age these two back trees were collected on one of our club collection trips so I don't want the canopies of these two back trees to be underneath the canopy of the main tree so I kind of want them like almost windswept and the canopies you know further out here so they have their own spot of Sun the trunk lines on these two smaller trees are very natural looking I don't want to do too much to them I don't want to take them from looking like a wild tree to something like a groomed bonsai tree so I'll just be mainly pruning back the long growth on them and getting the branch structure sorted out I've got the three main trees pruned up now and they're looking much better they look better with a sparse kind of canopy on them looks more desert like I've got two trees remaining so I'll prune the canopies to sort of a flat acacia style canopy as much as I can anyway so here I go Here's a view of the planting now with the trees all pruned up and you can see from the front view the main trees a little sparse looking but if I go up top you can see it has all the structure it just has to grow in and fill in but it's coming along I think it made progress today even though you know it may not look fantastic right now probably by midsummer it'll fill in quite nicely and look look pretty good I think the next step with the landscape will be to clean up all that sedum that's grown really long it's uh, 
almost grown taller than the elephant, so I've got to clean that all up. So I'll start with that. I'll just prune it all back short and I'm sure it'll grow in again. I'll come in with the scissors and prune it all back short. As long as you leave a little bit of root, it'll regrow. The sedum tends to spread. It roots as it grows and so you've kind of got to prune the perimeter back to keep it sort of bush shaped. It's looking better. And I think I'll have to get the tweezers and start pulling some of the ones that rooted from around the edge here. I guess I can just use my fingers. Works just as well. That keeps your little patch of sedum quite compact so it just doesn't spread over the entire planting. Yeah. There's a couple of large patches of sedum at the back and here that I'll have to get pruned back. Move my elephant out of the way. And the baby. This sedum will flower if you let it. Gets little tiny white flowers all over it. It looks quite nice. But I don't want it getting too large here. Can't even see the rocks in here. After a few weeks, all the sedum will grow back in and green up, so it'll look quite nice. There's a few other weeds in here I can clean out also. Bit of Irish moss, gotta get that out. There it is there. The landscape is slowly getting better. I'm cleaning it up, getting the weeds out, the sedum pruned back and all the end cuts picked out. Now the landscape has a lot of moss on it and it gives it kind of a tropical feel. It has too much moss for you know an elephant diorama that's supposed to be in Africa. So I'll have to come in and se selectively remove some of the moss which I will do. And I'll keep it because it's nice moss. I can use it on another tree. These are kind of nice. They look like bushes up front, but uh, I don't want them in the kind of water hole area here, so I'll remove some of those. I'm stepping back now, having a look at the landscape. It still looks quite lush. Um, I think I've still got to take a bit of the moss out, maybe, you know, in this area just leaving some patches. So I'll do that. I'll take some of this moss off. It's just too much, too much greenery. That's looking better. I still have quite a clump here that I think I've got to, I have to separate them a bit. Um, take out some of the ones in between these clumps just to give it a little more space. So there's not a whole bunch of clumps all tight together so they're spread out a bit more so they look more like individual bushes. I'm going to take this big one out here. I have a lot here. Um, this was supposed to be my moss bush and I think I'm going to replace that with a different kind of moss. More like the moss that I built up the bushes in my larch forest so I'm going to take that away like that. And then I have this coarser type moss that I'll replace that with. So I'll push that down in here. And we'll see how that does. I think that'll grow better than the this finer moss to make into a bush. I might put a few clumps of that here and there. Maybe, maybe one here too. We'll see how it does. This is more of a shade moss, but uh, 
It seems to survive in the sunlight also. I'll put one little clump at the back here. So it's time to put the elephants back to arrange them. And then we'll have a final look at the planting. It's time now to arrange the elephants. So, um, I had this guy back here. And then I think I had these ones in the water down here. But we could do something different today. The work on the elephant diorama is all completed for today. Let's go in and have a look. That's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.